Need Needhog. Nidhog is one beastly looking dragon. Thou wouldest use my own eye against me? Time hath done not to dilute thy kind's de depravity. I have not forgotten thee, Dragoon. Mine essence claimed thee once, and shall do so again. No worm! This ends here! Oh, snap! Are we gonna see a steady in action? Dragon's blood, because he mentioned that earlier. Dude, he looks freaking badass! Ooh. You gifted my people a thousand years of suffering. Now I gift you an eternity in darkness. Dang. Dang. That line right there, that was good, that was so cool. That was so cool. Guys, I'm so hyped right now. And watching this as a Dragoon just makes it so much better. Ooh, what's happening? Oh, is another one of our crystals going to light up? We're slowly becoming, like, we're slowly regaining our lights is what it looks like. Because you remember, at the, towards the end of A Realm Reborn, we lost our light, so we're technically not the warrior. We're like the warrior of unlight right now, but we're, it looks like we're regaining it. This is cool! Oh, what is this? So now we have both eyes. <coughs> oh, Jesus, that scared me. Quack a -a -doo! They are ours, Lord Eldrath. The eyes of Nidhogg. The worm lies broken and my father is avenged. With the wellspring of his vitality thus denied him, Nidhogg shall not linger long in this world. But behold the terrible price we have paid. My sire is dead. So many brother knights slain. We traded our honor for the strength which now courses in our veins. And still we are forced to make such sacrifice. But not in vain, my lord. Trace Felger is the only great worm left in Dravania, and he dares not leave his lair. With Nidhogg's eyes in your possession, who now can challenge the might of Ishgard, ascend the throne, and take your rightful place as the ruler of our people? Nay, my friend. 
I must forsake the mantle of king. Though Nidhogg be defeated, his wormling horde yet darkens the skies with wings beyond counting. As one who partook of Ratatoska's strength, it shall be my penance to bear a knight's arms until death grants me leave to retire. When that day comes, no prince shall perish, but a hell's bound hunter of dragons. But Lord Haldreth, what then shall become of the royal line? I'm confused. Is this like. Is this, um. Like a memory, or is this foreshadowing? Think of your people, my lord. Without a king, who will the common man turn to in his hour of need? How will he find his way without your benevolent hand to guide him? I thank you, Sir Flavian and Sir Silvertrill, for dispelling my remaining doubts. With men of such wisdom and compassion in service to the realm, it is plain that Ishgard has no need of a king. But if you must bow to the demands of tradition, you need look no further than yourselves for one worthy to wear the crown. Fare thee well, my brother knights, my loyal friends. On these shoulders shall I bear the weight of my father's sins. With this lance, shall I repay the debt accrued through our misdeeds. What cruel jest has fate played upon us? Have we seized this desperate victory? Only to lose a king. Wait, so they're pissed that We can but act as our lord has bid. He didn't take We the few who king. remain must divide between us the rulership of Ishgard and her people. Not I. My oath was to Lord Haldrath and he alone. If he is not to be king, then I would hang up my shield as well. Will you abandon us too, sir? I would wash my hands of blood and betrayal and take up an honest trade. Mayhap I shall serve ale instead of sharp Lily, and steel. thank you so much for the follows. Much appreciated. Welcome to my labyrinth of swords and queen minotaurs. What is your favorite mythological creature? Mine is the minotaur. I would wash my hands of blood betrayal and take up an honest trade mayhap. I shall serve ale instead of sharpened steel. Oh, wait, does this guy work at, um, I always want to call it the Drunken Knight. What's it called? The, the little tavern in Ishgard. So I guess this is a flashback. I mean, it kind of feels like a flashback, but I just, I wasn't totally sure. So we've defeated Nidhogg before? I'm confused. Good question. If you don't have an answer, that's totally fine. It's a little icebreaker question I like to ask. Sometimes people have an answer, some people we don't. Them. It's totally fine. Fortan. Hylanath. Dirimdare. Oh! And Zemile. Okay, these are like the four houses or whatever. So that, okay. I, I'm following now. I'm no longer confused. But four houses to rule all of Ishgar. There we go. I, I, I called it, and then he backed up my answer that much more, but okay. I'm not confused anymore. And what of the throne? Oh, I forget I have to keep, like, clicking through the, the dialogue. We keep it empty. Until the day a king rises once more, we must assume the role of stewards. We shall shape our nation anew with a history of our own making, and let the truth of this dark day die here, upon the battlefield. Manticore 
words are needed? Ooh, that's a good answer. I like that. That's a good one. Okay. What ails you, friend? Are you wounded? So we ha we saw the flashback. You have borne witness to history. To the culmination of the first battle with Nidhogg. The legend of Ishgard's founding tells that our ancestors were led to the land of Kurthus by the valiant King Thordon. In the midst of their journey, they came to a wide chasm, where they were set upon by a great worm, Nidhogg. A furious battle then ensued, with Thordon leading the van. Though the brave king was slain defending his people, his son, Haldrath, the first Azure Dragoon fought on undaunted. And with a mighty thrust of his lance, he gouged out Nidhogg's eye, forcing the wicked creature into retreat. Thus did this Eldritch Orb become a sacred treasure of Ishgard, lending its power to every knight deemed worthy to bear the title of Azure Dragoon. A rousing tale, is it not? Would that I could still believe it. But your vision, which we must accept as immutable truth, leaves no room for doubt, save on one point. If Haldrath took both of Nidhogg's eyes, then how came this eye to be lodged in the worm's skull? That's what I was wondering. Okay, I'm glad that me and Asana are like on the same page with questioning about about the eyes, because. They showed in the um, the flashback that they gouged out two eyes, and then here we are. We just got, like, Estinian has one, and he just took out another eye. So I'm very confused about this eye. And why is it a different color? I don't know. So many questions. Don't worry, chat. I'm not ignoring y'all. I'm just paying attention to the cutscene. I will address y'all's comments here in just a moment. giving one to us beneath every answer we unearth another question lies buried It was a fierce battle, but one I knew we would win. Your fame is well deserved, warrior of light. Full proud am I to have fought at your side. I really like Astinian's red armor now. It looks really cool. I would fain return with all swiftness to Ishgard to inform the Lord Commander of our triumph. We must first have words with Hreisvelger. There are parts of this tale that the worm has kept from us, and I would know wherefore. Good, I, I need answers. I got questions. Dude, that whole scene was freaking cool! Like, from the dungeon to the cutscenes, everything. And then, guys, Doing this as a Dragoon makes it so much cooler. I love this.